Hi friends, it's Carrie and Christina here with eatingonadime.com and today we're gonna make Christmas Crack Chex Mix. Ah, you <laughs> only need five ingredients, no baking. Everyone's no. favorite sweet and salty dessert <laughs> around the holidays. Okay, so go ahead and grab the link in the description below and let's get started. Today we we're going to show you how to make a five ingredient Christmas dessert. It's no bake. No bake. Which is one of our favorite things about desserts is no baking needed. Mm -hmm. So you can't mess it up. And it's the all time favorite. Salty and sweet. Love it. And it's festive. So no baking skills required. If you want the full recipe, Say recipe below, we'll send it to you, or you can always go to eatingonadime.com and search Christmas Crack Chex Mix. Thank you, Christmas Crack Chex Mix for the full recipe. And we're gonna show you guys how easy it is to make in no time at all. I love anything salty and sweet, honestly. Mm -hmm. So this recipe is perfect. It is perfect for you to bring to a Christmas party. No, Everybody will think you're so fancy and it requires hardly any work. Okay, right. so let's show them how easy it is. So we're gonna start off with some Chex, this either is, rice or corn. Everybody always asks, work. rice or corn. Honestly, either one will work. It doesn't matter. Just get whatever your favorite is. Yes. <laughs> Are you modeling the cup? Are you vanning? I'm really struggling with this bag. The ceiling on here is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, sealed safe. We are. They're fresh, but sealed. They are looking nice and perfect. They're okay. not really broken. So we are doing three cups of checks. We're gonna do two cups of Cheerios. Now, here you go, you can do it. The recipe called for plain Cheerios, but I did not want to just head to the store just for a box of plain, so we're using honey. I think any of them would be delicious. This is just gonna be a slightly sweeter. Okay. Looking good. Two cups of pretzels. Any kind of pretzels will work. We're doing the cute minis because they'll be super cute in here, but sticks would work, twists would work. At Sam's, they have like the Christmas tree pretzels. Oh, Those would be so would be cute perfect. and festive for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Did you get a new spoon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My sister melted my spoon, so I got a new one. So I replaced it. And the M&M's. One cup of M&M's. We're using Christmas M&M's. I think you could probably use any kind of chocolate candy that you like. Mm -hmm. So we're just stirring this to combine. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's going to be super cute, right? But then the sweet part. This is the salty with a little bit of chocolate. We're going to take 10 ounces of the white chocolate or like melting wafers is what we're doing today, right? Or that's yeah. what we're called. If you cannot find the recipe for today, just go to eatingonadime.com and search. Why can't I remember this? Christmas crack. Thank you. Check mix. Christmas crack check mix, or you can just type in Christmas crack and it'll come up. <laughs> just type in crack. Now we find a lot of people ask, can you use the white chocolate chips instead of the melting wafers? The melting wafers melt much more smoothly, right. smoothly and evenly. They're pretty much readily available at most grocery stores. So we yes. do recommend the melting wafers over the white chocolate chips. I that mean, way. this dessert is so simple. You might as well get the fancy stuff, right? Yeah. So we're gonna melt this in the microwave. This is a microwave down here that she's using. We're gonna start with a minute, then we're gonna give it a quick stir, and then we'll microwave it in 30 second increments, stirring in between, just making sure not to burn it. Now, white chocolate, or anytime you're melting a chocolate, we've learned that you know when you burned it, <laughs> not because it's black, but because it's like impossible to stir. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't come creamy. It gets like clumpy it, and it, gross. Yes, so yeah. don't you don't want to overcook it. While she's doing that, I just got out a cookie sheet and some parchment paper because once we combine it, we're gonna spread it out thin so it will harden and then you'll just break it into clumps. Mm -hmm. Kind of like you do a Christmas crack, if you've ever made Christmas crack. 
which is also a super popular recipe. Yeah. If you cannot find Christmas in Mims because they're kind of difficult at, to find as you get closer to Christmas, you could just use Christmas sprinkles, mm -hmm. um, red and green sprinkles, because even if you can't find the Christmas ones, you can find red sprinkles and green sprinkles and use them both. Mm -hmm. And that will just make it extra festive. Yes. So, I mean, the chocolate does add something, but it's festive. Yeah. Or you can get regular M&Ms and just pick out the red and green. Yep. Not that we had to do that. <laughs> nope. I was like, I know some people who have had to do that before. We then, didn't have to do that at all. Do you want to stir while I pour this in? Yes. So we're going to just pour it over the mixture. You want to stir while you pour? Yeah, do it. It'll be fine. Okay. This, oh my goodness, I want to eat this already. Oh. Me and Pam, me and Pam. This is really fun to make with the short people that live in your house. Because it's easy and it's no bake, so then you don't have to worry about them burning mm -hmm, themselves. Yeah. We're burning the sweet treat, right? Right. So you're gonna mix it in the bowl and then dump it on the pan to cool. Right. Or harden. You don't wanna just go straight to the pan like I would think because it's harder to mix it up and in that. Coated. Yeah. Agree. All right, it's hard for me to do it on the side. So as you can see, that white chocolate is getting coated and it's giving it that pretty, oh, I'll probably just eat you. Mm. That pretty um, Christmas look. Is it all white? What's the word I'm looking for? Snow? Yeah, it just says Christmas. We want it to snow so bad, so we see it everywhere. Right. It's not gonna snow here though. See how much, see how cool it's looking? So we did line our cookie sheet with parchment paper. I highly recommend that because it's easier to get it up and you don't have to, you know, wash the pan, right? Here goes I'm not going to Yeah, it's easier to clean up. So you can also use like wax paper or foil paper as well, whichever you prefer or whatever you have in your house. That's looking really good. You're one good stir, that's for sure. Tell your friends. You just do that and then eat this. Yeah, the bowl looking job is always the best job. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good, guys. Mm. I love sweet and salty, it's my favorite. My biggest tip would be get a sister to do all the work so you can just eat. And, and then snack. you can just talk about it. <laughs> get a cute little sister. Cute. Cute. Cute baby sister, right? Mm. Okay. So you want it to be clumped but a thin layer so you can break it off. Right, because you're gonna break it into pieces. Mm-hmm. But, um, cause it's going to harden, it's going to stick together, right? Right now it's not, but it'll harden, it'll stick together. And then you're going to break it off into little pieces for you to munch on all day or to put in the baggies. It's so fun to take to work. It's fun for Christmas parties. It's fun just to have on Christmas. It's just fun guys. Yeah. So you can add more sprinkles on top before it hardens. If you yes, would like, if you want it so a little cute. more festive. If you want a little bit more color, you could also, mm. um, Sprinkle some M and M's and push them in there so they're not coated in it. But I kind of like how they're muted, like muted a muted color. It's real them, subtle. But, but sprinkles would definitely make it extra festive. So what did you think? Taste mm -hmm. in them. It's amazing. Like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for it to harden. <laughs> and that's it, guys. So easy. You can whip this up in less than what, 15 minutes? Maybe oh, yeah. 10 minutes. And it's so fun because you could easily double or triple this with yeah. hardly any extra work. No, just need a bigger bowl. If you want the full recipe, go to eatonadime.com. Search. Christmas crap checks. I got it. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember, you can get the full recipe, the link in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more easy and delicious recipe ideas. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.